Hello everyone, this is Dhananjay from Informatica GCS team. Today I am going to discuss about provisioning tool. It is new feature added in MDM 10.1. So first we'll, I'll give you like high level overview of provisioning tool and then we'll jump into the demo section. So agenda for today's video. First we'll talk about like a provisioning tool overview. Then we'll go, we'll check what are the prerequisite to use provisioning tool. Then we'll talk about like key concepts and then like configuring how to configure business entity then what is layout editor what is advanced configuration and then finally we'll see like how to pub how to publish the changes so what is provisioning tool provisioning tool is a business entity model and to create a business entity model you need a root node and you, you will you need to establish relationship between the different nodes so what it does basically it gives gives you a graphical user interface to create a business model right also it provides you a xml editor where you can go and directly you can change the configuration file for all the business entity so next is what is prerequisite for using provisioning tool so prerequisite is we need a ors with defined mdm schema by defined mdm schema i mean a base object and the constraints based on the foreign key relationship on the base objects so next is key concept for provisioning tool so key concepts are business entities reference entities and root nodes so by business entities what it means like generally business entities are in significance to the organization organization can have business entities of type employee customer supplier etc next is reference entities reference entities are business entity that are associated with the lookup base object and last is root node root node is uppermost node of the business entity model and that represents the business entity so below are the features that are available in provisioning tool you what you can do from through provisioning tool you can configure your business entity it has a, a tab called layout editor through which you can edit your 360 view then it has tab called advanced configuration where it's it's kind of a xml editor where you can go and directly change your xml different kind of xmls and last is like once your changes are done basically you can publish those changes to the mdm hub now we'll quickly jump into the demo section so the you can see this is login screen for provisioning tool so what you need to provide like your host name then port name port number followed by provisioning followed by a front slash so as i'm here i'm logging into provisioning tool as soon as you log in you see like it will allow it will give you option to select the work once you log into provisioning tool it directly takes you to the home page home page as you can see like it talks about provision it gives you overview about the tool and some basic concept about it next is modeling tab modeling tab is the actual place where you configure your business entity model next is layout editor layout uh, at layout editor you can configure your entity 360 view next is advanced configuration so in advanced configuration is basically it's a uh, xml editor where you can configure uh, and modify your different kind of uh, business entity files before we start like creating business entity model pro through provisioning tool we, uh, let's have a quick uh, look at uh, database layer so a database like it uses mainly two tables first is c repos c co c o c s config table so once you make all the change once you create all the configuration file in a uh, provisioning tool and you publish them final version of the configuration files will be stored in cocs uh, config table the, there is one more table called c repos user uh, workspace so until you make like uh, all the changes you publish in provisioning tool all the configuration file will be stored in workspace table so if you are please take a note if you are using older version of mdm you won't have this table so basically you need to migrate your database unless uh, you cannot like uh, you cannot use provisioning tool so now i'm going to create a business entity model so i'm at business uh, i'm modeling tab 
I hit on create. So once I hit create on the right side, you can see like I can all the base objects that I have already configured in MDM hub, they are all available here. So I'm using C party. So name will I'm going to put as person. So and display name also I'm going to put as person. I'm just going to hit apply. So what it gave, like it created a root node basically for me. So as soon as I created a root node, if I'll click on field, what it you can see, it will show you all the system generated fields for this root node. So after that, suppose if I if I want to add the business field, right? What I need to do, I need to hit on create. So you can see from this drop down in the MDM hub I have already created like the business fields as first name last name display name contact name so suppose I want to add first name so I'll give you a name first name and so always remember the name you cannot have any spaces and once you make any changes after that it will be read only you cannot modify it later so I have added first name, right? So now I hit apply. Now I can see like first name has been added. So I'm done with the creating the root node. Now I want to create the relationship that I have already established between the root node and other uh, base objects in, in hub. So as you can see for this root node uh, person, I have, I have ability to create one many and reference one kind of relationship when when i say one what does it mean like this relationship this uh, like a reference has to come from the root node to that particular node and when i say many it's other way means it a uh, relationship will go from many to the root node so and reference one reference one is like when we are creating a relationship between the root node and the lookup base object so that is where reference one comes into picture so let me quickly create one uh, one relationship so as you can see like as this is already configured in a MDM hub contact details so and this is the constant reference automatically the uh, that is uh, that gets populated what we have configured in hub and name I'm just uh, putting the contact and in display also I will put like contact details and I'm hitting apply. So now if you'll go to the database, if I'll check like COCS config table, it doesn't have any entry. Uh, be, uh, the reason being I haven't published my changes yet, but if I'll go to workspace table, I will see two entries. So what happens as soon as you hit apply, it creates two configuration files, composite object and searchable log CO. If I'll click on the blob for composite services, you should be able to see the XML. So once your business model is ready, what we can, what we are going to do, we are going to hit generate BES. So generate BES like by single click, what we are going to go, uh, get, we are going to get two additional configuration file. And here you see it says like operation successful. So once you hit generate BS and it shows you like successful operation after that, if you go back to the database and see the workspace table, you can see there are two more, uh, two new entries here. One is composite services and another is rest services. If you click on the blob for this, it will give you the model. Uh, it will give you a configuration XML file for the business model, what we have, what we just created on the front end. So now we have like four configuration files. Now we are what we are going to do, we are going to validate and publish all the changes what we created just now. So I'm going to hit validate plus publish. And once you click that, you can see that it will list you all the changes that you have created just now. So I just, I will just verify that quickly. And after that I hit validate button so it says like there is no validation error 
do, uh, do you want to publish the configuration file to the MDM hub? I say, I click on publish. And you are done and it says like uh, operation successful. So now if you'll go to a database and if I, I will query on user workspace table, if I do refresh, I won't see any configuration file here anymore. The reason being I have published all the changes. So all the configuration file now it should be available inside C repos COCS config. I just do a refresh here. You can see all four configuration files are available here. So now if I'll go back to the provisioning tool, I go to the advanced configuration. So as part of means as we saw in database, we created four configuration files. So business entities was first. You can see whatever uh, business model we created, all configurations are available here. If you want to, uh, you can view it. And if you want, you can edit as well. And once you update that, same changes will be available in database too. Next, what we've created, that was business entity services and another type that we created was rest services and the last one was search configuration but for search configuration as we didn't put any parameter so it doesn't have any entries here so as we saw like uh, once you once you create your business entity model you apply uh, click on generate bs and uh, once you publish that right now from provisioning tool you can create only four kinds of configuration file for others you need to create your xml file uh, here manually and you need to save your changes once you uh, hit save it will be saved into the database Now I go to layout editor. So I hit I hit on create. I have given an instance name and type. And here I have opened one XML tag and closed it. And after that, once I hit update, it shows like operation successful. Now if I go back to database and see the user workspace table and refresh the data. And you can see for the entity 360, I have an entry available here. One more point to note here. So once you publish the changes for entity 360, final changes are not going to save in COCS config table. It is going to be part of the C repos component instance tab. You can share your feedback using uh, below two links. Uh, thanks a lot for your time.